Everybody likes jam. Who doesn't like jam? Seriously, I dream about flavors. Trade Street Jam Company makes low sugar vegan jams for pretty much everything under the sun. Honey, do you know how many things you can do with this jam? You can make cocktails, you can put on roasted meats or veggies, oatmeal. The uses are endless. I've been a chef for about 15 years. I needed something fun to do after work. I'm not a big like TV watcher. I would stop at this like store on the way home, grab a bunch of fruit, anything like weird and exotic that they had. And I start cooking, I start jamming. <laughs> Too much, you don't like the puns. <laughs> Do you like the bananas, honey? Yeah. My husband is my test dummy, I guess you can say. <laughs> mm, you want some more? You like mommy's cooking? When I started Trade Street, I was selling on another e-commerce platform, and we were also selling a lot of jam in person. But COVID hit, and all the markets shut down, which freaked me out. I'm already scared about being a new mommy. And then on top of that, I'm worried about the life of my business. People started ordering specialty food online, so we immediately had to pivot and focus all of my efforts on selling online. When people go on Google and they search jam or jelly, I want them to be able to find my brand. With Google Ads, they can type those things in and I pop up. You guys, that's huge. Being able to sell on our website, it really did save us. I couldn't imagine going back to not using Google products. We went from making 2,000 jars every two months to making 2,000 jars every two weeks. Our sales increased by 1,000%. <laughs> it was crazy. I've hired four or five different contractors. Hiring feels amazing. I think it's so important for our product to have a story behind it. I think when people see a woman behind the brand, a person of color, it just really adds something to that jar other than jam. Oh, you kiss mommy, you kiss it, mommy. I want Zola to be able to grow up and look at me and say like, my mom did that. <laughs> I wouldn't trade that for the world. <laughs>